तो फाइनली एप्पल हैज रिलीज आई एस एटीन स्टेबल बिल फॉर द मासेज एंड आई नो मोस्ट ऑफ यू गाइज माइट हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेटेड एंड यूजिंग इट ऑन देयर आई फोन सो आई थॉट आई शुड शेयर टॉप फिफ्टीन फीचर ऑफ आई एस एटीन दैट यू शुड यूज नाउ iOS 18 takes home screen customization to another level finally now letting users to place any app icon freely throughout their home screen so to move an icon simply press and hold on it and now just place the icon wherever you want just like this moving forward you can also customize icons itself just like i said so just tap and hold on the home screen tap on add it choose customize and over here you will have the option of icon customization you can change the look of the icons from light to dark or even keep automatic well this depends on the dark mode if you have turned on the dark mode the icons will be darker and if it is in the light mode it is obvious to say that the icons will be in light mode you can also select a specific color for example let me do this and set that color as the tint of your app icons and not only this you can also make the icons larger by selecting this as you can see the app icons name has gone but you can see the icons have been turned into a bigger size you can also put a darker shade on the wallpaper by tapping on this icon as you can see the darker shade has been turned off but if i want a darker shade on my wallpaper i'm going to select this and as you can see my wallpaper has become much more darker the control center is completely customizable and has been redesigned to feature additional pages like media home control as well as network connectivity controls to add custom controls you all you need to do is just tap and hold on the empty space over here you will have the option of add control tap on it and here are the plethora of controls you can add according to your preferences and the last customization specific feature in iOS 18 that i want to touch on is that now you can finally change the controls on your lock screen so all you need to do is just tap and hold on it select customize lock screen and from the subtract icon you can remove the controls and tapping on the place holder will open the list and select the control according to your preferences for example i'm going to select shortcut over here and i'm going to choose a shortcut let's go with this and in the other one i'm going to choose calculator and once done tap on done that's it So customization out of our way. Now let's talk about what are the new features we get in Messages app of iOS 18. Now in Messages app you have the ability to send text later. Let me show you how. So open Messages app, select a chat and tap on add icon and from here you will have the option of send later. Select it. Tap on the time to add your schedule. For example, I'm going to select today but not 7 p.m. I'm going to set it to 3 p.m. and just write your message hi and i'm going to just tap on send so as you can see this bubble is different because this is a scheduled text and it will be delivered at today 3 pm and not only this now you have more than just six emojis to react to a message so just tap and hold on a message and from here select the emoji you want to and if you can't find the one tap on this icon and from here choose the emoji of your choice well the feature list of messages doesn't end here now you can also add formatting animations to your text so for example i'm going to write a word and that is of course subscribe i'm going to select it and tap on this and over here you will have multiple options like i can make it bold make it italics underline it strike through it or even add animations like big small shake nod ripple jitter explode or bloom and once i have satisfied i'll just tap on send and as you can see iOS 18 didn't only came with a lot of new features and changes but it also comes with a new app called passwords app well apple got rid of password section from iOS 18 but introduced a brand new app called passwords app which is able to store your passwords Wi-Fi password, pass keys, etc. Each and every security detail can be stored in this app. For example, here are all my passwords. If I want to add, I just tap on Add icon, and over here I can add all the passwords I want to. Similarly, from Wi-Fi passwords, if I want to share a Wi-Fi password in a form of QR code, I can do that. 
tap on this and here's the QR code of the Wi-Fi password. So Apple has added this app instead of password section in iOS 80. And talking about password, well now you have the ability to lock a specific app on your iPhone running on iOS 18. So now with iOS 18, you can officially lock an app which was earlier only be possible using third party app or screen time. But now iOS 18 natively supports this feature. So to use it, all you need to do is just tap and hold on the app you want to lock. So simply over here, you need to select require face ID and you will have two options require face ID or hide and require face ID and I'm going to select require face ID. So whenever I open this app, it will ask me for the face ID and as you can see. Additionally, not only you can lock apps, but you can hide them as well. So again, all you need to do is just tap and hold on the app you want to hide. Let's say I'm going to hide X, select require face ID. And from here, I'm going to select the second option, which is hide and require face ID. And here we go. A splash screen will appear. And over here, I'm going to select hide the app. And as you can see, the X app, aka Twitter, is gone from my iPhone, but I can access it by going into the app library, scrolling down and in the hidden folder, which opens using, of course, face ID. Here is our app. Moving forward, next fantastic feature which comes in iOS 18 in Safari is distraction control. Now you can remove web elements from a web page which are distracting you. So simply open Safari. Okay, so the web page has been loaded up in our Safari. Now all you need to do is just tap on web bar icon at the bottom. From here, you need to select hide distracting items and choose the item which is distracting to you. So I'm going to select this and simply tap on hide. And as you can see, that particular web item has been vanished from the web page. And once done, tap on done. Moving forward, Apple has also added some fantastic accessibility feature in iOS 18 and let me show you what are they. So first accessibility feature I'm going to talk about is vehicle motion cues. It will use sensor built into iPhone to recognize whether a user is in a moving vehicle and respond accordingly by animated dots on the edges of the screen representing the changes in vehicle motion. And for that, you need to open settings app, scroll down, Go into accessibility, motion and over here you will have the option show vehicle motion cues, tap on it. If you want to turn it on, select on. If you want it to be set to automatic, you can choose automatic but it looks something like this when it is turned on. And when I move, as you can see, the dots move according to the motion. Next on our list is eye tracking. It is a feature which lets people with physical disability to navigate iOS more easily. And to turn on this feature, you need to go into the settings, scroll down and choose accessibility. Again, scroll down and from here, you will have the option of eye tracking, tap on it. And simply just turn on toggle of eye tracking. It will ask you for a training session of your eyes so make sure you complete the training once the training is complete you can control your iPhone using your eyes like this next is Music Haptic, it is another feature which can be said it is a new way for users who are deaf or hard of hearing to experience music on their iPhone. And let's see how you can turn this feature on. Again, you need to open settings app, scroll down and choose accessibility. And from here, you need to scroll down and here choose music haptics and make sure you toggle it on. And it is needless to say that this feature will only work in Apple Music for now, as of now. I don't know if Apple will allow other music apps to use this particular feature on their iPhone. Well, for now, you can only use Apple Music app. And last feature on our list is Vocal Shortcut, which lets you set custom utterances, which allows Siri to understand to launch a shortcut or to complete a complex task. For example, normally you will say, hey Siri to activate Siri, but on my iPhone, I have set it to 
silly girl and as you can see siri has been activated by saying silly girl on my iphone and now let me show you how you can do that on yours so open settings app scroll down and choose accessibility scroll down and from here you need to choose vocal shortcuts and now tap on add action continue you can set dedicated shortcut to your custom face also you can add custom actions to your faces depending on what exactly you want for example i'm going to select control center and right now i'm going to select uh, may day and tap on go may day may day may day and once done tap on continue so now all i need to say is may day and as you can see the control center will pop up on my screen so these were 15 new features you need to try out on your iphone as soon as you update it to ios 18 how did you find this video do let me know in the comment section and if this video helped you out then make sure press the like button and let youtube know that we are doing some good work and of course while you're down there make sure to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post about everything apple and in meanwhile you can go to the app store download eggx blog app enjoy everything apple content amazing wallpapers and what not else on this note this is me samir signing off and i will see you in the next one till then tada see ya bye bye